people make an observation, you give it a simple three-letter word, tar, pour it on a road, and it solidifies. But actually understanding what that stuff is, people don't know. There's been natural seepage in this region for at least half a million years. In the historical record, the Indians that used to live here would use the, the natural seeps to collect tar to seal their boats. Uh, we are at a location known as Shane Seep that exists off the coast of, uh, of Santa Barbara, really off the coast of the university. There's oil and gas that are emanating out from the seafloor here. We look at the microbial communities, the bacteria that are eating that gas. The organisms that eat oil, that's a far trickier thing to do because oil comes in droplets and particles, and so the, the bacteria have to figure out how to access that oil. Some of them will produce chemicals that break the oil down into small bite-sized droplets, uh, very much the same way a, a dispersant is supposed to work. We are the best situated to come out to sample these sites, to, to do studies, to track the oil, to track the gas, to do it on these small boats just a couple miles from campus. Uh, nowhere else do they have anything quite like this. Where I got interested in, and remain interested is we still don't know the full composition of oil. We don't know what all these different compounds are that make up oil. When I observe things in nature, I go back to my my knowledge bank and say, okay, I, I see something, what do I know about this? Where have I seen something like this before? Where can I reason by analogy to, to pick up on those strings of knowledge to understand what I'm seeing today? I'm David Valentine, I'm a professor at the University of California, Santa Barbara, and I'm studying hydrocarbon seeps.